We start on the wine dark sea where our brave hero Odysseus is looking for somewhere to rest. He's been traveling through many hardships. Oh man, am I tired. Let's find a place to rest. Yeah! yeah! After those hardships, I am quite tired. Yeah! I spy an island. Let's head there for now. I see smoke. Someone must live here. I will take some of our men to investigate. Good! I will stay here. Now off with you! So Ernie and Locus took the platinum off to investigate. The platinum found the nymph Circe's house. <laughs> Look at all those wild animals, but they simply come and nuzzle us. Circe had given those animals a magical drug to make them calm, which was why they weren't attacking the crew. This is very puzzling indeed. Come, let us all go inside to see who's singing. The crew entered the house of Circe the nymph, but Ernie Locus hung back because he sensed a trap. Circe opened her door and ushered them all in. They sat down at a grand table. Circe mixed them a delicious potion, but stirred in her evil drugs in with it. This, this is, is so good! After the crew drank their fill, Circe struck them with her wand and turned them into... Odysseus and the rest of the crew were back at the ship when suddenly Uri Locus appeared. Ah, Shiver the pigs! Pigs! Who did what now? We went back to the house. We had drinking scene. It was so inviting we went in. There was this woman inside that she offered us something to drink. Everybody but I drink because I sense a trap. Because I'm superior like that. Suddenly, they turned into pigs. I'm not going back there again. I must free my crew from that monster. Even though they are pigs and they won't help me anymore. But I could eat them. Bad thoughts, Odysseus. Ah, no idea your crewmates have served you, even though now they're delicious. Hello, Odysseus. Your crewmates were captured and turned into pigs, and you want to get them back. The only problem is that you don't have magic to defend yourself from the sorcerer Circe and turn your crew back to humans so you don't eat them. I can help you. Here's a magical herb that you can eat so you would be invertible to magic. Hold your sword to her throat when she realizes that her magic doesn't work and demand for her to turn back your crewmates and make her swear to never harm you and your crewmates. Then, after she swears that you are safe, she will ask you to lie in bed with her. Say yes because she will not harm you and she is pretty and you are handsome. Okay, fellow, can I ask something? Yes. What's your name? Hurries. So Odysseus traveled to Circe's house. She offered Odysseus a drink of the potion and he accepted it. But when Circe struck Odysseus with her wand, her magic didn't work. Go to your start! Turn my crew back into men. I commend you and swear to the gods oath that you will not harm me or my men. Also tell me where I shall go next to be able to get to my home. Or your men. But please, come and sleep with me in my chambers. My bed first! Okay, grouchy! Now we are at the pig sty where Cece turns the pigs back into men. Yeah! We're dudes again! Soon Odysseus had to leave, but Cece had a part of the promise she had forgot. She had to tell them where to go next. My love, I have to be tomorrow. Now I'll punch you in your path home. Circe nymph with lovely braids, I love you. How shall I find my way home? Turn into the kingdom of the dead. Consult Tyras, the priest, and dig a trench and pour milk and honey, then mellow wine, and finally water. Sprinkle a little barley in there too. Let no ghost drink until you see Tyras. Then let him drink so he can speak to you. My crew and I have to rest for the night before we leave. Can we stay with you? Yes, of course. Will you sleep in my bed in me? With my with me in my bed? Gladly. I would love to sleep with you. When dawn with her rose red fingers shone, rose once more, Odysseus was departing in his ship. Bye, my love. Goodbye. Please buy the full book for more. The abridged version is recommended for children under 